at the end of the day, you're settling. And at the end of the day, you're not having a voice and saying what you want. At the end of the day, you're letting somebody lead you and you're following somebody somewhere that you don't want to go. You know? Share this with someone you think will need it because today we are going to talk about five dating mistakes that I wish I would have knew and didn't do. So the first one is I wish that I wasn't a chameleon. I do this for everybody, but when I really loved somebody or really, let me not say love, when I was really in like with someone heavy or had a crush on somebody, I will find myself conforming to what they liked or what I thought they would like example listening to the same music that they liked you know wanting to hang out with their friends more being with them more and just kind of going with what they like and not really speaking up for myself or showing my true self but it's a slippery slope because you end up losing yourself and you end up playing a role so number two is not giving away things that haven't been earned or things that you want back. And that's not just in sex though. It's also just in intimacy, period. What you share. I always tell my little sister this. Don't give away anything that you want back or anything that when you walk away from the relationship or the friendship, you're going to smack your head and be like, dang, I wish I wouldn't have shared that or dang, I wish I wouldn't have said that. Have you ever like shared your business with somebody and then later on they told somebody else or you just felt sick to your stomach because you knew you overshared? Don't do that in your relationships. Wait and give things time. Make sure that it's reciprocated. And when it's given back to you, that's how you build a relationship. But just start off with just talking about the things that you like, what you like to do, and how you like to be treated. And and that will also show you too, if you don't know those things yet, that you need to date yourself longer before you need to even try to date anybody else you need to learn those things about yourself you don't have to take on the character or the likes of the person that you're trying to gain love or attention from you need to find out what you like because what ends up happening is you end up in a relationship being somebody that you're not the third thing that i would say is i hate that i started putting more attention into my relationships sometimes than my friendships i was never that super girl that like as soon as i got a man like bye see y'all later i wasn't that girl but i do know that i let other relationships and 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 family relationships drop when i started to really feel somebody and you just have to be careful with that because love is love and if you love your friends and if you love your family and if you love the people in your life you can't drop them just because you have somebody new you have to learn how to balance that and you know i have friends that i'm like she just one of them friends as soon as she get a nigga she's going ghost like you know you don't want to be that friend you don't want to be that friend where you got to kind of like ease your way back into the friendship later on. A year has passed and only time you hang out with your friends is when you and your man got issues or, you know, when you need something. So that's a, the third thing that I would say is don't drop your friends just because you found somebody. Aside from wanting a boyfriend and wanting somebody to have some type of life some type of money some type of something to show for themselves i didn't really have a good list and so that would be my advice to you is to start making a list of what you want in your man and a good way to make that list is to find people who have relationships that you admire and look up to and kind of write down those qualifications and then also you know just figuring out like what are the special things that you like the things i would include in my man would be first a relationship with God not just you know God not just you go to church sometimes with your grandma but you actually pray and seek God and want wisdom from God in your life like and not only do you want that but you try you try to live your life to be a blessing and to be helpful to the people around you another thing is like he has to have a good relationship with his family 
Like I would say like how he treats his family, how he treats his mother has to be good. I want to know about that. Another thing that I would say is like, you know, who are his friends? His friends have to be solid too. Not saying that everybody acts like they're friends, but friends have a huge influence on the people that you're dating and have a huge influence on you. Who is his circle? You know, what are the things that he wants to do and how is he going after them? What was his past relationship like and how did he handle it? And, you know, like, I think a good way you can tell too if somebody is a good guy is how they talk about their ex. Do they drag them? Do they dog them? Do they try to make you feel like you're better than her or whatever? One thing about my husband, Justin, is as much as, you know, I be like asking questions sometimes like, oh, when you was with her, what about this? You know, like when I get in my petty phase, he never talks down on anybody that he's dated. He just, you know, like and he's never burned a bridge in dating. And as much as sometimes I'm like, burn the whole damn bridge down. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he doesn't talk to them anymore, but when we were not married, you know, he would still be like, you know, he he can't go in a room and somebody hates him is what I'm saying fr from his past. And as much as that was irritating, I love that about him because it shows me that he's a man of integrity and he's somebody who cares for people. Even if he always, if, even if he didn't always know how to handle the relationship or be mature in some areas, he always had respect and decency for people. I made the mistake of not speaking up not speaking up and saying like i want to go on a date i didn't speak up because i was worried that if i spoke up or was too vocal i would come off as naggy needy doing too much and i felt like you know like he just wouldn't want to do those things and i would be let down or it or i would just rock the boat i didn't want to rock the boat you know what i'm saying i just wanted to do i just wanted to be loved and i just wanted things to go I didn't want to mess it up and that sounds so bad you know what I'm saying because you're settling at the end of the day you're settling and at the end of the day you're not having a voice and saying what you want at the end of the day you're letting somebody lead you and you're following somebody somewhere that you don't want to go you know and it wasn't that like I didn't have like self-worth like like that like that but it just goes back to that whole going with the flow thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going so much with his flow. I didn't say like, hey, we need to be going on a date. We should have been getting to know each other better and 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 putting a standard up for somebody to take you out and having good conversation. It lets you know if somebody is for you or not. It lets you know, first of all, first of all, if you go on, if you go on a date with somebody and they put their phone like this the whole time, that lets you know too. Like, they got, this phone is bussing, you know, do they have a girlfriend? There's so many signs that you can just pick up on and know right away, is this person worth your time by just asking and, and going on dates? And they say, well, you know, I have a standard, do this or that. But how? How do you? My answer to you is like, start journaling and start writing down, okay, what do I like? There's so many journal prompts on like Pinterest and stuff. Like, what do I like to do? If... I had a free day what's one thing that I would like to do by myself and and if you can't do anything by yourself that is a red flag too that you need to start learning to love yourself and spend time with yourself if you're always having to be around somebody or have somebody in your space that's letting you know that there's some type of lack there and there's some type of lack of love and lack of intimacy and lack of God in your life you gotta let God in your life you have to and never be afraid to let God into your relationships you know what I'm saying like I remember when I lost my virginity might be TMI but right after I like prayed to God I wasn't even like going to church but I had a love for God and an understanding for God that I just knew if I felt something left I felt that I gave something away that I could never get back I felt a guilt I felt a I felt a nakedness, not because I was naked, <laughs> but I felt a, a, a difference. I felt like a piece of me was gone, but I let God into that situation, but I started to cut him off out of it because I felt ashamed later on because I kept going back to that thing. Don't feel ashamed, but just ask God to come into every part. When you're dating a guy, 
ask God about them. Stop asking your friends and stop asking people who don't matter. Like ask people who you can trust and ask God about it and and see. But I'm going on a rant. I could go on and on about this. If you guys want me to do a part two, let me know. But I did want to share this with you guys because I know that relationships and navigating those relationships are hard and not everybody knows. Everybody talks about self-love, but it really, we don't talk about what it truly looks like and what dating really looks like, especially my younger girls, my younger babies. I am here for you. I have lived my life and I have experienced some things I have I met my um, husband early, but I experienced a lot in my short years of dating that I would love to share with you guys. And if you want me to bring friends on, bring other people on to talk about it, let me know. Say it in the comments what you want from me and, you know, I will try my best to provide it. But hit that subscribe button. We're at the end of the video. You've been all the way to the end. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And send this to somebody who you know needs to see it, needs to hear it. I will see you guys in my next video. Love, love, love you. Catch me on Instagram, on TikTok, all that stuff. When I'm not on YouTube, I would love to connect with you guys. I'm very, very active on Instagram. And I'm active on my other platforms. But catch me on Instagram more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.